hello everybody and welcome back to another video and in this video i will go over problem construct an array from status 42 mm, so let's get started uh, also i don't have my mic today uh, so the audio quality will not be that great so uh, i am sorry for that i will have my mic in the next video uh, so please bear it for this one uh, so let's get started with the problem the problem is construct an array so in the problem uh, we have been given some integer n we have been given some integer n and we have to construct an array of size n we have to construct an array of size n such that it satisfies the following property uh, for every i from 1 to n there there exists some subsequence there exists some subsequence of size greater than or equal to 2 uh, right there uh, for every i from 1 to n there exists some sequence size greater than or equal to, uh, there exi exists some subsequence of size greater than or equal to 2 such that its gcd its gcd of the subsequence is equal to i so given an integer n we have to find some area of size n such that for every i from 1 to n there exists some subsequence uh, whose size is more than 2 and its gcd is equal to i so how can i do this uh, first of all uh, my aim in this video is not to tell you the solution to the problem because if i tell you the solution you will obviously get it but it won't help you in the future problems so my aim in this video is to give you an approach how to approach these problems in general right so first of all uh, if you see we have a1, A2, A3, so on till n. Our subsequence size, our subsequence size is greater than or equal to 2. Let's call this size equal to k. Right? I will call my subsequence size equal to k. Obviously, we are trying to find an array, so we will look for patterns. And if we are looking for patterns, it's helpful to keep uh, size of every subsequence equal to some fixed size, and I will call that size k. Uh, and k is greater than or equal to 2 and k is less than or equal to n obviously this is my subsequent size subsequent size that i will use that i will use in my pattern that i will use in my pattern obviously higher the k it is harder to control the elements what i mean to say is uh, if i have something like a1 a2 a3 so on till an like if my k is equal to 5 then I have to find five elements in here. Then I then I I will have to place five elements in here, such that its uh, GCD is equal to one. Similarly, I will have to place five elements in here, whose GCD is equal to two. Similarly, five elements in here, whose GCD is equal to three. So similarly, for uh, every from one to n, I will keep five elements whose GCD will be equal to that. So they will the elements will soon start overlapping. The elements will soon start overlapping because there are only n elements there are only n elements and uh, for for every gcd you are placing five elements so we will use five n elements so obviously many of the elements will start to overlap so the more the the more the size of the k the greater the k the greater the k the greater will be the overlap the greater the k the greater the overlap so obviously it's very hard to like think about overlaps and think about prime factors and stuff like that so your goal should be to minimize k because if you minimize k the overlaps will be minimal and you don't have to consider uh, many overlapping cases right so to minimize overlap to minimize overlaps and help with pattern formation and help with pattern formation you should minimize k should minimize k and then you can try for every value of k uh, then you can try for every value of k from 2 3 4 to form some kind of pattern uh, for example in this case uh, i started from 2 and i was able to see some pattern i tried some trial and error cases and i landed upon uh, a pattern of size 2 that is in which my k is equal to 2 uh, that worked so here is my solution or my pattern that worked so uh, first element will be n that is 1 into n then second element will be 2 into n 
and here my k is equal to 2 here my k is equal to 2 so i will choose these two i will choose these two elements in my subsequence and their gcd will be equal to n their gcd will be equal to n uh, similarly now you know that uh, two uh, that two consecutive numbers are co prime we know that two consecutive numbers are co prime so n minus 1 and n are co prime right uh, so now i have my gcd equal to n now i have seen my gcd equal to n so i don't need uh, i don't need n anymore so to make this co prime i will replace n with n minus 1 because i already have my gcd equal to n right so i am not in need of n anymore so i will replace uh, n with n minus 1 here and i will uh, and i will i will use this uh, subsequence as well uh, so now if i replace here something else so for example if i if i replace 3 here it will be useless because i am wasting this pair i am wasting this pair so to use this pair i will keep a 2 here i will keep a 2 here and now my this pair will give me gcd equal to 2 now i have seen my gcd equal to 2 so now 2 is useless to me now my 2 is useless to me so i will replace with 3 here and n minus 1 I will keep it uh, and n, n minus 1 I will use here. So now I will use my, my following pair and gcd here will be equal to n minus 1. Uh, as you see here the overlaps are very minimal right the overlaps are very minimal and it's easy to see the pattern here. So for some like for let's say n equal to 7 your pattern will be 1 into 7 1 into sorry. 1 into 7, 2 into 7, 2 into 6. Let me write it this as well. Let me write it in a smaller so you can see it in one page. 1, 7, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 7, 7, 6, 6, 1, 4. So now if you see GCD of this is 7, GCD of this is 2, GCD of this is 6, GCD of this is 3, GCD of this is 5, and GCD of this is 4. So now we have seen GCD equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So now you will have a question that uh, we have seen all the GCDs from 2 to n. Now we have seen all the GCDs from 2 to n. What about GCD equal to 1? What about? What about GCD equal to 1? So in that case, you can just combine your GCD of 2 and 3. So if you know your GCD of this pair is 2, and if you know your GCD of this pair is 3, you can just combine these two. You can just combine these two. And GCD of 2 comma 3, you know, is equal to 1. So now if you combine these two pairs, you will get your pair that will, uh, you will get your, you will find a quadruple or a triple or a pair uh, whose GCD is equal to 1. So now you have seen all the GCDs from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So that was your uh, original problem. Your goal was to form all the GCDs and you have formed all the GCDs from 1 to up to n. So that will be your solution. So I hope you like the problem and my approach. Uh, so like. Uh, I told you a solution, you will be able to get the solution. Uh, but my goal was to show you my mindset, how I approach the problem. And I think the best observation here was this. The greater the K, the greater the overlaps. And it's hard to handle overlaps. Uh, so it's helpful to keep K as small as possible. So you can like think about, uh, you can minimize the overlaps and you can easily like find some patterns or something. Uh, so if you want to see the code for this, I don't think like, will be that big also if you guys don't know continue to school is offering a full stack development course the course is uh, over six months long and it is totally based on pay after placement model and you don't have to pay anything there is zero hidden fees there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees five lakhs and the average package is rupees seven lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs so it is a very great opportunity also, all their mentors are from top MNCs like Google, Flipkart, Zomato, etc. Also, they will get you placed into the top MNCs as well, like Google, Flipkart, Zomato. 
सो यू कैन लर्न फ्रॉम द मैंटर्स डेट आर वर्किंग एट दोज कंपनीज एंड यू कैन लैंड अ जॉब एट दोज कंपनीज योर सेल्स ऑल्सो यू डोंट नीड टू वरी इफ यू गाइज थिंक कि यार मेरे को भी कोडिंग आती नहीं है मे बी फ्रेशर मेरे को बिल्कुल नहीं आता है द कोर्स इज ओवर सिक्स मंथ लॉन्ग एंड दे विल टीच यू फ्राम स्क्रैच सो यू कैन स्टिल साइन अप फॉर दिस एंड इफ यू गाइज आर लुकिंग फॉर अ करियर इन द टेक फील्ड दिस इज अ वेरी दिस इज अ वेरी पेड हेड स्टार्ट डेट यू शुड साइन अप फॉर एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लैंड अ जॉब आई हाईली Uh, I highly vouch for this, and uh, if you guys want to sign up, there will be link down below, and you can go and sign up from there. So, yeah, you know, be sure to sign up for this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.